Hi there, Lisa Rana here, and thank you so much for joining me for another Assemble This video. I have three lovely cards to share with you today, and I'm just using one stamp set and very basic supplies to get three different looks and layouts. I'm featuring the Not the End of Your Story February 2021 sentiment set from Unity Stamp Company. And don't you just love the girl holding all those books and the little stack of books as well? There's so many wonderful little sentiments to match the bookish theme as well. I'm starting out with card number one and I have that girl stamped on some craft cardstock plus my card base and I'm just going to set those to the side. I grabbed another sheet of craft cardstock that's the size of my card so uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm just going to put that into my original Misty. Just going to tack it down to the base here using some repositionable adhesive. Um, you could also use some washi tape or something just to make sure it doesn't move. And then I place this uh, background stamp over the top. It's called Small Details. kind of has this type font to it that has some great um, basic words that can be used for any occasion. And then I'm using some Versifying Onyx ink and I'm just going to stamp that all over the front of my cardstock here, the craft, and then just making sure I get a good impression. I'm creating um, even pressure and just rubbing over the top there. I do have the top of a candle that I had randomly sitting around and I'm using that to create pressure. Next I'm going to die cut off the side of that girl using just a, an edger die. This is a scalloped edge that I really loved and ran that through my die cutting machine and then just putting some black twine string around there. Uh, this is that burlap string from May Arts. I use it all the time in three different colors. It's a basic staple for me. I can't get away from it. I love it. Now I'm just going to cover my card base with that stamped background. I just love the bookish look of this. I just thought it match the theme of the the books and the girl so well. I'm just going to pop her up with some foam adhesive and then I have my sentiment already stamped on a strip of craft cardstock as well. The sentiment reads this is just one chapter not the end of the story which I think is wonderful to send to a friend or a family member that is going through a rough time. Um, they just need to remember that it will get better. It's just one chapter and we can write, rewrite the ending. Moving on to card number two, I had stamped that stack of books in sentiment in the center of a four and a quarter by five and a half sheet of craft cardstock. And then I just die cut that center panel out. Um, it's a stitched die that um, Gina Marie Designs makes. It's a double stitch, so it stitches on the outside of the cut and on the inside of the cut, which I thought was perfect. So I die cut out those stacks from the center. Then I stamp that small details onto this border. I'm using some craft colored ink. It's khaki by Simon Says Stamp, but you could also use some uh, embossing, clear embossing ink that works as well. I just had this color in my stash and I feel like I never use my ink colors enough so I grabbed that <laughs> to use this time around. Though I will use embossing ink a lot on craft. Then I'm just going to tie some more of that string around that center panel. Add some foam adhesive behind the books and the sentiment which the sentiment reads hope your birthday is one for the books. I just love that. I know I have a lot of book readers in my circle of friends and family, so I thought that was perfect birthday card material. I'll be using that a lot this year. Just going to trim the edges off my bow. And then to add a little bit more interest to this very basic card, I'm adding some Nouveau Drops in pale gold. 
Next up, I've stamped that stack of books multiple times onto a uh, card front size paper craft again. Here's that die I used earlier. It's the Gina Marie double stitched rectangles and I die cut that down. And then I'm just gonna add some black cardstock to my card base. Just glue that directly down out of the card front. And then I'm gonna glue this uh, panel up into the top corner of my card here. I kind of wanted it to kind of go off the edge. I had a little bit of extra adhesive down at the bottom there and I just rubbed that off with my adhesive remover. And then trimmed everything down so it matched the card front. I have my sentiment stamped on some craft card stock. And then I'm going to add some color and pattern to this particular card. I just thought I'd mix everything up a little bit. Just add a little bit more to this card. So I'm using some washi tape in that striped pattern. And then a little bit of red with this pretty floral pattern as well. I laid that down onto my panel and then I'm using my scissor to kind of trim that off. I just ran that down the side and then pulled that washi tape. It cuts super easy. Just creating a bit of a banner sentiment there. Getting it to the size that I want. And then pulling out my twine again. Just going to create a, a double a double bow, I guess you would call it. Just wrapped it around my fingers a couple of times and tied that off. If you're interested in how I tie my bows, I'll put a link to, to that video um, in the description and probably up, if I can link it into this video up in the top corner. Um, super simple. I just added that to my sentiment and then tacked it down with a tiny little staple. And then I'm popping that up on my card front with some foam adhesive and adding a bit more color with the red sequins here as well. Just gluing that down with some glossy accents. So here are the finished cards. Don't you just love that girl and the small details background stamp that has the perfect print for a bookish look? I just love this supportive sentiment as well. And then card number two, I just love the softness of the craft colored ink on craft paper. Again, you could also use clear embossing ink as well. It, it works just the same. And that center panel popped up on this one is just amazing with the little bit of Nouveau drops. And then this one is the outlier. It has a little bit of color. I just love that pop of red and the repeat pattern of those books in the background as well. I'll have all my supplies linked in the description of this video. If you have any questions or a sweet comment, post below. I just really love to read each and every one of them. You're always so very supportive. Thanks so much for creating with me. I hope you're inspired and I'll see you next time. Bye.